My trainer said I can be the, the greatest that you know ever did it. I mean, I know that's saying a lot. Wait, but the greatest that ever did it? They ever did it. Wow. Uh, Manny Stewart. I mean, I worked out with the Manny Stewart last year. He, he gave me all, all the praises. He felt I can be a great one just as well. So, I mean, I was coming from, and that's coming from a great who's trained nothing but greatness. That's exactly right. And that is a former, well, current NFL player, but now uh, on hold for a while and perhaps boxer to be very soon, Ray Edwards. Legendary boxing writer and historian Burt Sugar has said that the two best American heavyweights today are Ray Lewis and Brian Urlacher. The problem is, they're football players, not boxers. With the NFL currently in a lockout, gridiron stars are lacing up the gloves all over, trying to chase dreams inside the boxing ring. Raven safety Tom Zabikowski is already 2-0. He's a pro fighter with a background in fighting. He has a third fight around the corner. His trainer, Manny Stewart, joins us now on ESPN First Take. And I'll get to Ray's comments about you, Manny, in just a bit. But first, how, how did it work out that you got hooked up with Tom Zabikowski? Well, I've already known, uh, always known Tom since uh, he was 10 years old. In fact, I met him when I was training Lennox Lewis for a fight with Shannon Briggs. And he was uh, in uh, Miami with his father at the time. And he hung out at the gym a few days for me. We took some pictures. And then later on, I began to realize that he was boxing in the tournaments right there in Chicago, close by, you know, where, you know, since we're in Michigan, so it's in our region. And uh, I hadn't heard too much from him related to boxing until just recently when I was training Miguel Cotto and he kept it in at the gym in Las Vegas with us so we hit it up and started to train and I let him train at the same time I was training Miguel and uh, I was very surprised at his boxing ability you know it's uh, very very I said you box just like a, a boxer not a football player and I was it was the only guy I ever worked with before there was a football player basketball player that caught on so quick was Ray Edwards but for a big guy Ray was extremely fast and caught on quick but uh, you're even more coordinated than he is he says I am a boxer don't you remember me <laughs> and uh, then he brought the, he brought the photograph to the next day and showed it to Jim and uh, he said I always wanted one of those gold crunk shirts like you have on a picture when you took me when you was when I was alone so I said okay two days later he had one but anyway we worked out for a week there in uh, Las Vegas at the uh, top range you know uh, along with uh, Miguel Cotto, and uh, very, very well coordinated, uh, good, uh, good balance and good speed. And he's a really a, a boxer who plays football also. And a lot of the athletes trying to cross over just don't have that. Most of them, I find out, are very good in their basketball or football. That's, but it's very different to get the coordination and the rhythm of boxing. And Ray Edwards was the the only other one that I've worked with that caught on, which surprised me, was his speed to be such a big man. But uh, I think that uh, Tom is, is back to doing what he loves to do and taking advantage of the strike situation, which is what I guess Ray was looking forward to also in preparation. Now, I would say both of those guys uh, would do very well in boxing. If they how well? Had, how well, and, Manny? How, how well could they do? Well, I would say this year, I think based on the fact that Tom already is a boxer. I mean, he's not no going to be. He would do very, very well. You think he could uh, ever fight for a title, uh, Manny? One out for yes. And Ray himself, because of the fact that the heavyweight division is just part of hardly any talent, and both uh, Latimer and Vitaly are in the final stages of their career, and I actually don't see that much coming up, even in the amateur program. Right. And, I, you know, and I'm looking at the amateur fights, and I always at the arena when I'm working for an ICO job, I always go over there earlier than the all other brothers watching the preliminary. And I don't, the problem is nothing even coming up. Not only is nothing up, but I think Ray, because of his size and his, his agility, could catch on and move to the top quickly because Heavyweights can do that. Uh, right. It's not that much competition. George Foreman did it. I learned George Foreman had 20 fights when he won the gold medal, even that was the 20th. Would you and train? Would heavyweight. you train Ray if he came to you and said, "I want to do this full time and make a run at a title"? Would you take him on? I would love to train him uh, and make a run for the heavyweight championship. And I think that Tom is a boxer. It's not the case of it. I think if he can stay busy on a regular basis like this, he definitely not figured out about five to fifteen months time. They uh, could be fighting for and win the cruiserweight championship of the world. But see, Tom is a cruiserweight, which is the limit is 200 pounds. 
which is what we call really like a small heavyweight. In the Olympics, it would be called the heavyweight. Right. And Ray Evans, in fact, is a super heavyweight. Sure. It's yeah. what you need to be today to hold up and compete effectively. You have to be around about 6'4 to me at 240 and up. Right. Well, we'll keep an eye on both Ray and Tom, a couple of guys with, uh, with quick hands, and who knows, maybe a future in the ring as well as the NFL. Emmanuel, always good to talk to you. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Okay, it's my pleasure. Been on the show.